Probably the simplest way to put it is arborists never have their feet on the ground. When did you start as an arborist? Probably started as an arborist before I knew I was one. Um, officially grew up in the business, uh, but officially put on my first harness and climbed the tree when I was about 12 years old. How did you get started as an arborist? Got started as an arborist because my father said, hey, you want to come with me? And sure, I did. So next thing you know, I'm on the crew. What's your tree superpower? My tree superpower. As an arborist, you find things you're really good at, maybe even better than your peers. I think I have an ability to walk up on a tree removal job, look at a tree and see how few moves I got to do to get that tree on the ground safely. Um, and it gets simple over time, but I think that's probably my superpower. Best time to plant a tree is either spring or fall, just not when it's too dry, too hot, or too cold. When is the best time to cut down a tree? You want to cut a tree down before it falls. <laughs> when is the best time to prune? Uh, pruning you can do, depending on what the application is, dead wood all year round, but uh, most trees, if you're pruning live material, it's best to do it when they're dormant, like over the winter months. You definitely want to take care of your trees routinely. You want to make sure that you keep them vibrant and healthy. Again, taking care of hazardous stuff first and then worrying about structure and other things as well. How can I tell if my tree is sick? Trees don't always tell you they're sick. They can't talk to you. But if you look close enough, you'll get some indications like yellowing leaves, uh, leaves start to shrivel, maybe even parts go dead. Is, important, is it important to water my trees if there's a drought, any time of year you want to water your trees, you just can't water them when the ground's frozen. Uh, but right heading into winter is not a bad time to think about that. Why invest in tree care? Trees are some of our most valuable resources. As a property owner, homeowner, you really got to think that through. And for me, adding value to your property is an important thing, just also because they're so majestic and beautiful. Is it okay to top a tree? It's only okay to top a tree when you have to, meaning the top is dead and it will not come back. Trees don't want to be reduced in height. They grow that way for a reason, so making those cuts is hard on them. What's your favorite type of tree? Favorite type of tree? Wow. Um, that's hard. I like all of them, but if I had to pick, I'd probably say locally the white oak and outside of my area, probably the redwoods. I like the tricolor beach for the color, um, but I think the shape of the ginkgo biloba is amazing. What's an interesting fact about trees? I think one that always astounds me is how long they can live and how we take that for granted. The oldest living tree currently is over 5,000 years old. What's the most interesting thing you found in a tree? I found a lot of things in trees, you would be surprised. Bicycles way up high in a tree, grown into the tree. Uh, probably the weirdest thing I couldn't really identify was like a large drone thing built on like a golf cart engine or go-kart engine, um, and it had a big camera on it. I don't know where it came from, and I probably shouldn't be talking about it. <laughs> Do trees have feelings? I hope they don't have feelings, because I certainly hurt some of their feelings along the way. It's just part of life. Both. I like tall trees, but I also like limb walking, so give me a tall, wide tree any day. Real or artificial Christmas tree? I gotta go f real all the way. Uh, fake trees are nice, they're convenient, but I love the smell of a, of a real tree, and I love harvesting it myself. Just do it responsibly. What's your favorite tree climbing memory? Every memory climbing a tree has been wonderful, honestly. Um, if I had to pick one, I'd say my first redwood climb because it was with a group of individuals that were amazing, a team from all over the country. We stayed together for three days and the tree was amazing. It was 260 foot tall, 33 foot wide at ground level. Um, just an amazing experience.